Good Morning Facebook. Grace and peace to you all. The free life is a soul at rest. It's beautiful what happens when we are at that point where we're in that place of true contentment because you're at that place of rest knowing that I am okay because I've been changed at the core. I'm no longer lacking. I've been filled. I've been set free from that bondage of self so I'm able to live in a new way. The way was a beautiful thing. That was what the early church was called. It was people that were compelled by God's love and they actually became that love. So there were no needs in that community. They truly loved one another. Um, and the opposite of that is when we are self-seeking and self-glorifying and what we have become. There's a, uh, if you think of what uh, 2 Timothy uh, 3, 5 says that in the last days, you know, it talks about being lovers of self and boastful, proud. And it says there will be a form of godliness, but we will deny the power of. So I think the message of forgiveness of sins, which is beautiful, and ticket to heaven someday is a watered down version of what Christ wants us to have. He wants us to have new life in him. For Christ's love compels us, for we are convinced that one died for all, therefore all died. He died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died and was raised again. So, and then it talks about being a new creation. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone and the new is here, right? Because we've been made new by the beauty of what he did and who he is. So we're set free to live in a new way, which is not centered in ourselves anymore. It's beautiful. That's the abundant life in Christ. But we have to lay down that self-life in order to experience the fullness of Christ in and through us. That way we're able to become love rather than needing love. We receive, we're compelled by God's love to become love. Now we're able to see people's created value and purpose and destiny. Now we're hurt, we hurt for people. We don't, we aren't hurt by people. We're, we're so self-centered by the, at the core because we're lacking and we're looking to be filled and we're meant to be filled by his love, by his grace, by his mercy. We're inhabited by the Holy Spirit. We're set free so we're able to become a love agent. The ministry of reconciliation, we're reconciled to the love of God. Then we, become, we get to become that very message. We hear the message. We believe the message. We become the message. Our lives become a reflection of what we've received in Christ. So there is a don't settle for ticket to heaven and you know, because that you could be self-centered in that. It's all about me at the center. No, it's about him wanting to, to give you new life. You were meant, not meant to live an autonomous life apart from God. You're meant to be his. And in him, you're going to experience all the fullness of what he desires for you. So then you're able to be that beautiful love agent. You get to become love rather than needing love. May God bless you today. Lay it down to take hold of something so much more powerful. And it's an abundant life because your soul will be at rest when you, you know, you're not meant to live that self-centered, self-seeking life. Beautiful when you lay it down, but we can't experience until we lay it down. Lay it down to experience the fullness of God in and through you. May God bless you today.